Welcome back to the last session of the second chapter of Federalism. Today we are going to discuss about decentralization in India. Already we discussed about Federalism. Federalism is having more than one level of government. And uh, our constitution prescribes two levels of government mainly or initially. That is the central and the state government. This is all we discussed. And a worst country like India, it is not possible with a two tier of or two level of government. Because some of our states, based on population, our states are bigger than the European countries. Like the population of UP is more than the population of Russia. The population of Maharashtra is more than the population of Germany. European countries are nothing. Our population is bigger than these countries. And also within the state, we are having diverse, diverse diversity. So with this central and state, two tier or two level of government say, it's not possible. So, constitution prescribes one more level of government. That is known as, so they decided to centralize, decentralize. What is decentralization? Decentralization, that means the power has been, the power is taken from central and state and given to the local government or third level of government. Once again, when the power is taken from central and taken away from central and state government given to the local government or third tier is known as decentralization. So first question of what is decentralization? Is a decentralization kya what time? Power is taken away from central and state and given to the local government. Right? And what is the basic idea behind this decentralization? Is decentralization ga each idea? What is the basic idea? So many ideas are there. We will discuss at least three ideas we have to discuss. Basic idea, agar ga, we can say that a lot of problems and issues can solve in this level. For example, suppose Hamara jo, uh, Gilibe, village me, ya koi, uh, is a chota jaga, area me. Suppose a street light is not working. That time we will call Prime Minister or Chief Minister to please rectify the problem of this street. Not possible. So the local people are able to understand the problem and they can they are able to solve the issues. So, so many issues and problems can solve in this level. First, isn't it? Local level. And the people have, they are having this better knowledge. They are having the idea about the locality. And they know well that where to spend the money and how to spend the money. Suppose example, Prime Minister Narendra Modi he uh, 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 announced a financial help for the widows of India. Widows of India means each village, suppose 10 widows, they, will get, they are getting this uh, financial support. So Narendra Modi or Yogi Adityanath or any other chief minister is unknown about this uh, widows of the village. But a local leader, he can recognize and he ha he is having the idea about the widows of the, those locality. And he, will, he can select who is eligible for this financial support. Understood? So these people can understand where we have to spend the money and to whom or how much. This is also possible in the local level only. Not in the central or the state level. Apart that, it is possible, local level, in this local government is possible that people can directly participate in the decision making. It's not possible to, decide, uh, uh, to participate in decision making in the central or state level. Nobody is allowed to enter the assembly. Nobody is allowed to enter the parliament. But you can participate, directly participate in the 
decision making of the local village panchayat or municipality. Our local level constitute municipality and the panchayat. Right? So these three ideas you have to remember. First is that many issues and problems can solve in the local level. Second, local people having more ideas and they know well the, uh, how to spend better ideas on where to spend the money or and how to manage things more effective effectively and the third is that uh, it is possible for the people to directly participate in the decision making right so local government is necessary earlier also local constitution prescribed about the describe about this local government and local government was there municipality and panchayat the problem was elections to these local governments were not held regularly. I am talking about the condition of local government before 1992. 1992, uh, uh, major amendment happened. Constitution amendment. Before that, constitution, not about this third tier government, but that was not so effective. Why? Elections are not held properly. And uh, local government did not have any power or uh, resources of their own. Apna power, apna resource, nothing. State government, state governments, they were not ready to give, uh, share the power. There was very little uh, decentralization in effective terms. Decentralization, achhi tarah se power diya nahi gaya tha, aur diya to bhi o bhi incomplete. This was the condition, right? So our question will ask. What was the condition of local government before 1992? Then you have to say that elections were, elections were not held regularly and the local government did not have any power or resources uh, its own, of its own, their own. There was a little decentralization, means in effective terms. But a major step towards this decentralization was taken in 1992. 1992 made a step a kadam udaya government of India ne constitution change kar diya amendment amendment means kya hota hai correction means change constitution was amended to make the third tier government third tier of democracy more effective and powerful third tier government bo powerful and effective banane ke liye they have taken some steps constitution amend kar diya change career and what are the pushing what are the measures taken by the constitution or amendment constitution amendment to uh, uplift the condition of the three, third tier level of government third tier or three tier or third level of government or local government whatever it is so you have to give five points first point please dhyan se sun lena Important day of constitutional amendment in 1992 to uplift the condition of local governments. First one. Now it constitutionally mandatory that elections should be conducted after every five years. Understood? Constitutionally mandatory bina diya ki paan saal ke baad hai local government ke liye election hona saruri hai. And now it is constitutionally mandatory to hold a regular election for the local government after five years. First. Second. Seats are reserved for SC, ST and OBC. Means number of seats in the local bodies, executive or whatever it is. This is meant for the social uh, scheduled caste, scheduled tribe and other backward communities. And the third point, at least one third of seats are reserved for women. Suppose a panchayat is having 5, 15 wards. So 15 wards at the one third equals to 5. 5 members should be women. That is mandatory. One third seats are reserved for women. That also. Three point on the Fourth point. A separate independent commission organized that is state election commission the function is to conduct election for panchayat and municipality once again 
a separate independent election commission set up for the state to conduct the election of panchayat and municipality. They are totally independent. State election commission for uh, conducting the election of panchayat and municipality. And the last one is that uh, the state government are required to share some powers and revenue to this uh, third tier of governments, local governments. State government is required to share the power and revenue to the local government. The nature of sharing the power is vary from state to state. Her state exists in here. That is that varies from state to state. These are the five points of amendment in 1992 to uplift the condition of local governments. Right? So from this, two, three questions you have to learn. That is, first is that uh, what is decentralization? What are the basic idea behind the decentralization? Then uh, write the measures taken by uh, Constitution of India to uplift the condition of up, uh, uh, third tier level of governments and write the condition before 1992 about this uh, local government. Now, now the next topic is little bit confused. So, samajhne mein thoda sa dikkar loga, lekin try kar lena. Fir mein board explanation mein bhi kar denge, tab apko aur achhi tarah samajh mein aa jayega. Agla important question bhi hai. Question exam mein board examination mein aa sakta hai. Write a short note on or describe panchayati raj system. Panchayati raj system. That means rural local government is locally known as local government is known as panchayati raj system. Rural local government is popularly known as panchayati raj system. Each village or a group of villages having number of panchayat. One village is having number of panchayat. Each panchayat is having number of wards. Suppose my panchayat, we are having 15 wards. So 15 wards, I am in from the 15th ward. So each ward is selecting one ward member. He is called as Panch. So, in a Panchayat, you will have 15 ward, mein se 15 ward members. Pahunchenge, panch pahunchenge. And also among that, what they have to select one Sir Panch or President. Right? So, we list the number of Panchayats. Is it right? And the ye Panch ko select karne wala kone? the people of that ward. Use ward ka, adult franchise according to 18 years ago per job here, who elect karenge, wa apne ward member ko. Right? So, this is the condition. Once again, I wanted to say, uh, uh, lock, rural local government is popularly known as Panchayati Rai system. Each village or group of village having number of panchayats, Gram Panchayat, this is a council of Gram Panchayat only, it's a council of several ward members. Number of Panchayat is having number of ward and ward is having ward members or panch and having a sarpanch. Right? They are directly elected by the people who are residing in that those wards. Right? It we can say that it is a decision making body of the panchayat. Ye aapka jo hai, panchayat hai. Decision making body, panchayat ke liye, us panchayat mein kya kya chahiye, road chahiye, light chahiye, or kuch na kuch, jo bhi chahiye, us panchayat ke suvita ke liye jo bhi chahiye, sara decision making body hota hai. And the panchayat works under the overall supervision of Gram Sabha. Dhyan rakna, Gram Sabha. So, humne kya kya bola tha? Village, panchayat ila system mein bol diya ki, village, village ke under, panchayats, panchayat ke under, wards, ward mein, ward ka sarpanch hoga, panch hoga. Then, Isko sabko supervise karne wala koon hota hai? Gram Sabha. The adult members of the village are the participants of this Gram Sabha. Gram Sabha ka jo participant means saare log hota hai. Gram Sabha conduct a meeting at least twice or thrice in a year. Do or teen bar meeting hota hai. Us din sab log pahunchna hai maa par. Zaruri nahi hai. According to your wish. Lekin this Gram Sabha mein jana zaruri hai. Because they will scrutinize, they will assess the activities of the panchayat because we are selecting one candidate or one punch, what he is doing. Whether he is doing some goodness for the ward or not, that we have to check. Gram Sama will scrutinize it and everything. So, us meeting mein to jana chahi. I have seen that many, many villages are not uh, even uh, conducting the meeting also. If a meeting conduct kar rahe, people are not 
moving or not joining. But that is wrong. We, this is our authority. We have to join the Gram Sabha. Right? We should join the Gram Sabha and we should uh, check the activities of these ward members, whether they are doing the work or not. Right? And the annual budget also passed by this Gram Sabha only. Which means, jo kitna kiya, kaisa kiya karke. We can question the uh, ward members also. Suppose a ward member, my ward member, if he didn't do any work in my ward, I can raise the voice. Understood? I can raise the voice against that person. Or sit down. So, Gram Sabha ka members ka paas adhikar hota hai. That is why, earlier I told you that we can participate, directly participate in the decision making. We are deciding. My dear students, don't forget the value of a person, a voter in a democratic country. In a democratic country, the most valuable person, valuable value is who? Not minister, not president, not prime minister. Who is it? You. You are having much value. You are able to change the fate of a leader. So think about this. So. Those who are joining, uh, residing in village, they have to, they must participate in the decision making. They must go in the Gram Sabha meeting. Understood? And uh, local government structure needs to go to the district level. Few group, Gram Panchayats are grouped together to form what is called Panchayat Samiti. Kuch Panchayat, Panchayat Sara Milkar ki Gram uh, Panchayat Samiti bolenge ya Mandal bolenge, Mandal, right? Members of the representative body are elected by all the people of the panchayat. Right? Or mandal ka, most of the mandal milkar milakar milakar ke, ham bolenge zilla parishad, district. District level me vata hai, pala zilla, district, district parishad. Most members of the zilla parishad also elected by the people and apart that MB and MLA of those areas is also included in this uh, committee. So, my Clearly, you have to remember karna hai, yaad rekhna hai, panjaydira system ka niche level se upar tak hai, panjaydira system pura likhne ke liye aega to pura likhna padega, 5 mark question hai. Gram panchayat, ward, ward member, gram sabha, uske baad mandal aur block samiti, then upar se block samiti saara mil kar ke, zilla parishad, zilla parishad ka members plus aapka usi area ka MLA aur MP, they are also the members of this zilla parishad, right? Silla Parishad chairperson ka bolenge political head hai. Silla Parishad ka Silla Parishad, Silla Parishad chairperson is the political head of the Silla Parishad. Same local government is in the uh, uh, urban areas also. I talk about this uh, uh, rural area. Urban area may be hota hai. Local government that is known as municipality. And corporation. Do hota hai. Kya dekna? Municipalities and municipal corporations. Right? They are controlled by the electoral, same as it is, electoral bodies consisting of people representative. Jo par, suppose hai, a municipality kya hota hai? Municipality set up in towns. Big towns mein aapka corporation hota hai. Municipalities are set up in towns and the big towns uh, mein aapka kya hota hai? Aapka corporation hota hai. Vahaan par hene wale loog saare aap counselor ko select kar dete hai. Head of the municipal corporation is known as mayor. Mayor kata hai. Right? पूछेंगे आपको हेड ऑफ द म्युनिसिपैलिटी म्युनिसिपल कॉर्पोरेशन राइट म्युनिसिपल कॉर्पोरेशन का हेड मेयर होता है म्युनिसिपल कमिश्नर होता है म्युनिसिपल म्युनिसिपैलिटी का राइट म्युनिसिपैलिटी का म्युनिसिपल कमिश्नर और कॉर्पोरेशन का मेयर हमारे पास बहुत सारे रिप्रेजेंटेटिव्स हैं ध्यान रखना हमारे डिसेंट्रलाइजेशन का प्लस पॉइंट पूछेंगे माइनस पॉइंट पूछेंगे और प्लस पॉइंट में आप बोलेंगे कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल स्टेटस फॉर लोकल गवर्नमेंट हैज Help to deepen the democracy. Aap bolenge, because of this local government, we are able to deepen the democracy. Democracy deepen, niche te pahunche gaya. Mahatma Gandhi ne kaha tha, Mahatma Gandhi ke sapna tha, local government. Democracy deepen kar de, niche te chala gaya. Janda ke saath. Malab, Mahatma Gandhi ke sapna hi tha ki janda, malab, India ka janda khud decision lena hai. Wo ye aapka local government. So, this is a plus point. Because of this local government, we can say that deepen the democracy. Democracy could deepen kar sakta hai. Then it also has, it's calabar, we increase the women's participation. Right? Women's participation, representation. I have seen that many women in our locality, pahle zamane mein, women husband ka peche, pahle jo chalte thi. And abhi participation mil gaya, they are also the ward members. 
and i have seen surprisingly i have seen that many ladies are in front arena and they are ready to talk they are to ready to solve the problems though they are the able people but their ability is undermined because of the patriarchal society hamara society patriarchal hai patriarchal means male dominated society because of that female ka jo women ka jo power ko undermine karke rakha tha now they got a chance they came into the main arena and now they are doing they are doing their own their own activities their abilities and all so this is also a plus point because of the uh, third type government only women got a part chance to participate these are the two plus points minus point is that uh, our gram sabha is not conducting the meeting twice or thrice bola tha na not at all conducting if the conducting the not so people are not participating kabhi bolenge mere paas time nahi hai kabhi bolenge yaar main kya kya janu hai is tarah jo condition hai agar aise sab soche to कुछ होगा ही नहीं फिर घोटाला तो होंगे होंगे फिर बोलेंगे घोटाला कर रहे घोटाला कर रहे यू आर नॉट पार्टिसिपेटिंग माय डियर इज इन इट यू हैव टू पार्टिसिपेट बाहर खड़े होकर कोई बोल सकता है वो वो मिनिस्टर खराब है ये मिनिस्टर खराब है वो लीडर खराब है ये आपका खराब है वाई यू आर नॉट पार्टिसिपेटिंग पब्लिक शुड पार्टिसिपेट देन ओनली वी कैन रिमूव द करप्शन एंड ऑल थिंग्स राइट तो ग्राम सभा छोटे लेवल से शुरू करना नीचे लेवल से रूट लेवल से ग्राम सभा में हमें पार्टिसिपेट करना है we have to question 100% i can say that corruption can move out matlab eliminate can eliminate from the society understood and uh, elections are held regularly and enthusiastically in the local government local level but gram sabha are not held regularly iske alawa most state government are not ready to give the power and revenue to the local governments it is mandatory state government should ensure some power and uh, revenues but most of the state government is government are not ready to transfer the power as well as revenue to the local government these are the two minus points so minus point to be plus point to change my dear students hamara jo rep local level ka representatives hai na near about 36 lakh hai european country ka population itna nahi hai I remember that the Narendra Modi became the Prime Minister. First of all, he asked the list of the representative, local representatives, means the ward members. That was his first uh, uh, announcement, also I think. So, pada hai jo niche level se sahi karna padega, tab ja kar ke upar ho jayega, acha ho jayega. Upar level se karna se bani hai. Ek plant agar ham logo ne agar chhoda sa plant agar lagaega na, to root level se karna padega. Upar jo hone ke baad ham उसमें जो आप कुछ करने से कोई फायदा नहीं है इट द सेम वे इसलिए बोला पढ़ाई करो छोटे लेवल से पढ़ाई करेगा ऊपर जाकर क्या पढ़ेगा नीचे से पढ़ना है तब जाकर के ऊपर जाकर क्या अच्छा बन बन सकता है सो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स विद दिस आई एम कंक्लूडिंग दिस चैप्टर प्लीज रीड द टॉपिक ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड इफ नॉट प्लीज कन्वे द मेसेज टू मी एंड आई विल हेल्प यू ओके विल बीट यू in the next class or next uh, with a new topic new lesson till then bye